That is the only God of which the Bible speaks. There is no other God. I will go down to the potter's house. And I went down to the potter's house, as the Lord said to me. And there he was working at his wheel. And the vessel in his hand was spoiled. But he didn't discard it. He reworked it into another vessel, as it seemed good to the potter to do. Well, that's the 18th chapter of Jeremiah. Which word, Jeremiah, means Jehovah will rise. He'll rise all right. He'll rise in you as you. So, because he is you. There's no one else to awaken but God, and God is your own wonderful human imagination. And the word potter in Hebrew means imagination. It means to, to determine. That's what the word actually means by definition in Strong's Biblical Concordance. It means the potter, which means imagination. So I go down to imagination's place where he's working at his wheel. What potter? My own imagination. What are you doing, Neville? Well, I'm just spending a few minutes here, there, while well, it's spoiled. You will admit what you're doing isn't quite what you want done. Don't discard it, rework it. Rework it into another vessel and it seems good to you to do. Don't judge for appearances. 